The first analysis technique that we'll cover in the online classroom is back of the envelope estimation. This is a very handy way of figuring out ballpark figures so that you can put some data into your analyses. Today we're going to estimate the distance travelled per year to and from work. So it takes me about 20 minutes each way. And I know from experience that it's about 5 minutes at about 60 kilometres an hour, 7 minutes at 80 kilometres an hour, and 3 minutes at 100 kilometres per hour. I also spend about 5 minutes waiting in traffic, and so that makes the total distance about 19 kilometres. Let's just round it up to 20 kilometres so that the numbers are a bit easier. So if we're going to estimate the distance travelled per year, I'm looking at 20 kilometres times 2 trips a day, times 5 days a week, times say 45 weeks a year. That comes out to 9,000 kilometres per year. If I put in some sort of factor to allow for extra travel outside of that direct path between work and home, then I might multiply my 9,000 kilometres per year by 1.5 and end up with approximately 13,500 kilometres per year. So the 13,500 kilometres per year is a good estimation of how far I might travel to and from work each year. But we might need to add to that a number of trips, say, up to Sydney, for example. So if I estimate about 350 kilometres, including the travel at either end, multiply it by 2, because it's a return trip, and say 5 trips per year, then that adds an extra 3,500 kilometres per year. So my total kilometres per year might be more like 17,000 kilometres per year. When you do back of the envelope estimation, it's always good to go back and try and justify your assumptions. So at the beginning, we made the total distance to and from work about 19 kilometres. We rounded it up to 20 kilometres to make the numbers a bit easier. When I plug the route into Google Maps, it reports an 18.4 kilometre trip, which puts my estimation a little bit higher than the actual. But in the absence of data, this might be a really good estimation. Considering that the range of the electric vehicle is about 160 kilometres per charge, I can do the 40 kilometres to and from work each day on a charge without any issues. Some things to remember with back of the envelope estimation. It's good to use as a basis for further analysis, but go back and check your key assumptions. Take care, especially when rounding, and try to improve your estimation and your understanding of the system by collecting data. So, for example, to verify my estimations around the distance traveling to and from work. So for example, I could keep a logbook for a number of days and with my odometer readings to and from work and use that data to inform my back of the envelope estimation. Now that I have my back of the envelope estimation, I can use that in further analyses, especially where I need to start to estimate how much energy or how much it might cost me over the period of a year. And that brings us to the end of the back of the envelope estimation online classroom.